Ooh, we're back. We're back. We're all uh, back. We're back. Folks, please make sure you subscribe to Kiyako Trader. Remember the link is pinned on top of the chat. And also in my community tab and also my body. Remember, we go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. With my good man Prince I came and my good man New Jordan Era. Hope to see you there. Shout out to all the new people that subscribe to the Cal Culture Radio page and also my page as well. I really do greatly, greatly appreciate it. And also the Chaos Culture Family as well. Man, it seems like we we're growing we're growing we're growing big and um uh, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna continue to give you guys content and we're gonna continue to show you guys how hard it is to keep you guys entertained because that's our main main objective is to make sure that you guys are entertained. Also, you gotta learn something when you when you come to KL Culture Radio and also on this channel as well. You know me, I always do trending news and whatever is trending, I always give you my thoughts on it and what I think about it. And now this one right here, TDJ doing big things within his community and not only that with his part of house uh, and also TDJ's ministry pointing up with Wells Fargo to get people opportunity, which is next family opportunity to buy a home, and not only that, but to generate well. And this is what I'm talking about now. Some people may not, may a lot of people may dislike TJ because of the simple fact they call him a quote unquote prosperity preacher. However, to me, I don't have a problem with it. At the end of the day, you give it back to the community, and that's what he's doing. He's giving the everything he's getting from the ministry. He's using it back to the community, and that's what I'm. Then this is what I'm talking about. And mind you. Back in the days, a long time ago, I think in the in the nineteen hundreds, they said the number one thing would kill a lot of black people's prosperous, meaning give them that kind of work ethic, was the black church because the black church helped them when it came to a lot of things within their own community, and it and it seemed like it's happening pretty much like it's happening now, like it was happening back then. How ministers would use their power when I mean when I mean their power, their power of influence to be able to bless. And not only that, but to help people that's less fortunate than them to be able to generate that wealth for their family and um, and also their children for the for for years to come. And the number one, they say, the number one thing to generate wealth is to allow people to have property, which is a home. Home is the number one way for people to actually generate wealth because you know some people houses now they used to buy back then it was about like uh, thirty thousand. Now it's worth like 2.3 million. So that's, gen that's generating wealth. So by him giving him partnering up with Wells Fargo, it's going to get a lot of black people an opportunity to be able to generate that wealth by purchasing a home. But let's take a, let's, let's, let's take a deep dive to TDJ's partnership with Wells Fargo. Banks Group and Wells Fargo are announcing a 10-year partnership to build communities for all income levels. Shout out to and Wells this Fargo. Partnership includes a commitment of one up and also to TJ's one ministry. billion Shout dollars out with a B from Wells Fargo to help pay for various projects. Their first project is a mixed income housing and retail development outside Atlanta. Good. The nearly 95-acre property is a former Army base, Fort McPherson, which is right next to Tyler Perry Studios. The TD Jakes Group is a conglomerate of four business units. TD Jakes Ministries and TD Jakes Foundation, those are nonprofits, while TD Jakes Enterprises and TD Jakes Real Estate Ventures are for profit entities. TD Jakes himself also presides over the Father's House Church, but the church is not affiliated with this Wells Fargo partnership. We welcome you, Bishop. It's so good to have you at the oh, table. Thank you okay. for having us. Good That's to be here. Yeah, Clearly, so you have a lot going on in your life, but explain exactly how this is going to work and why you wanted to do it now. I think it's imperative that fierce urgency of now indicates to us the fact that the future looks very bleak, particularly for minorities, uh, black people, right. brown people, mm -hmm. and also for white people who are finding it difficult, workforce people to find a job, to find opportunities to get housing, to get upward mobility, to have communities that are built in uh, repressed neighborhoods and revitalize the community, giving the homeowners who live there or people who lived in the community a chance to stay there for affordable rates. So this is now. Here's the thing: a, a, a lot of um, a lot of um, black people always um, always say the simple fact is it's always hard for them to um, to find a, a good home and not that uh, a correctly a really good housing so where they can go and raise their kid in a good community. But a lot of people have a hard time. When I say a lot of people, a lot of black people have a hard time to get in these type of community because the simple fact of 
not having the resources. When I mean resources, meaning the income to live in these type of homes. But now, when you when now when you have ministers like TDJ pointing up with Wells Fargo, now we get those people opportunity to be able to to finance a good home, and not only that, but live in the community that they want to be able to raise their children. Exciting moment for us. We're really, really thrilled to be able to do it. So Wells Fargo is committing to up to a billion dollars to fund these projects, pay for is the way we put it. That's not a donation, right? That's an no, investment. No, no. They want to make money off it. Well, no, no. It's not a, I don't know what they want to do, but it's not a donation. It's a commitment to supporting initiatives to raise up communities that have been repressed. And not only that, but it's kind of good for Wells Fargo because number one, Wells Fargo right now have a lot of bad rap when it comes to situation, when it comes to um, housing, credit cards, car loan, giving out loans. They always have a number one bad rap when it comes to that. Um, the anchor is going to explain that too. He's going to mention that as well. So, like, Wells Fargo been going down the tank for a very long time. But however, now they got a new CEO and they have a new, um, a, a pretty much a new way to help the people. And by, by doing that, to get trust in the people, the best thing to do is to get someone that the people actually trust, which is a minister like T.D. Jakes, so people can have now more trust in them. Because we already know, to, uh, uh, able, to able to get a home, you need to get a loan from a bank. So, that's just a well-known fact. Nobody's just going to just go out there and just get a home. The number one thing is to be able to get a loan. You gotta get, you gotta go, go, go to a good bank that's able to give you that loan that you'll be able to purchase a home. So, partnering up with Wells Fargo, with TDJ's partnering up with Wells Fargo, it was give now minority the opportunity to go to a bank and not to know that the bank is not going to be biased and able to give them the loan that they are looking for. Wells Fargo, your only option on this, or, or what made you comfortable with Wells Fargo? The reason I ask that is, you know, they have a recent history. Uh, in fact, just in December, they uh, paid a $3.7 billion uh, fine to settle uh, uh, accusations of illegal overdraft fees, illegal fees tied to car loans, illegal fees tied to mortgages. Which is this is money they were taking out of the pockets of low-income people that you're trying to help now. Right, and, and, and that's exactly the reservations that I had with them as well. Initially, several years ago, when they talked to me, I would not do business with them for those very reasons. Uh, that settlement that came out came from the previous administration. They have a new leader now. Exactly. They have a new mm -hmm. administration, and they're beginning to right some of the wrongs. This is not going to right it all at once, yeah. but it is a start toward uh, justifying and rectifying some of the mistakes that have been made previously. The other reason is when other banks stood back and looked, Wells Fargo stood up and said, you know, I'm willing to make this unlikely alliance, this very uh, unique alliance. Uh, I've written a book called Disruptive Thinking, and this disruptive alliance between us is designed to lift up underserved, underrepresented communities. What do you... Facts. 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 And I'm not going to pull on the video. The video is very long, so I was just going to uh, pretty much spend much Pretty much fast forward a little bit when um pretty much TJ pretty much stating um how the partnership is gonna benefit the uh, the black community in the long haul because right now they are projecting that black people won't have wealth in two thousand and fifty that they pretty much their wealth is gonna be diminished down to zero because the simple fact is a lot of black people today are not really buying homes they meet pretty much renting um black people are spending money spending money on a higher scale than any other race do um. Black people don't really have that much of a savings account, so we're not really good when it comes to money. But stuff like stuff like what TDJ is doing, you know, hopefully more ministers do the same thing too. Partner with banks to help the people that's in their congregation to be able to get a home, so they can be able to generate wealth for not only for them but also for their children. Not only that, but guys, let me know what you think in the comment about the whole situation with TDJ partner with Well Fargo. Do you agree it's a good idea or do you disagree it's a bad idea and he should partner with somebody else like uh, Bank of America or Chase or or even a, a, a black bank? What is your, I really want to know your guys' intake when it comes to that. And now you know, guys, please make sure you subscribe to Kelly Culture Radio. Remember the link on top of the chat in my, in my community tab and also my bio. Remember we go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock. Eastern time and now that make sure on the KL Culture Radio go in the community tab and the community tab is KL Culture Radio T shirt and also Prince I King new book Black Love. Go over there and support the platform. We greatly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm over and out. Peace.